going on? It's not a shooting star. Then what is it? It's a real alien spaceship! Whoa! An, an alien, alien cat! cat. Oh. <gasps> on behalf of all the cats of Earth, you are welcome, friend. Greetings to you, Earthling cats. I am Astrocat, and I come from planet Meow. What did I tell you? It really exists! Unfortunately, I was forced to crash land here. I... Why don't you come inside and tell us all about your planet? I can't. I have to repair my ship and get back into space as soon as possible. Don't worry. We're the Buffy Cats, and we'll help you fix it. Are you sure you can fix my spaceship? Of course. Now you'll see a real spaceship pilot in action. <laughs> you know how to pilot a spaceship? Sure. For example, this is the start button. <coughs> I won't get back to Planet Meow again. Don't worry, Astro Cat. Tomorrow, we'll bring your spaceship to Edison, the scientist cat. He'll know what to do. Until then, <sighs> bedtime. <sighs> Good night, my lady. Good night, Cosmo. Sweet dreams, Buffy Cats. <sighs> this is how we sleep on Planet Meow. Possum. Good night, everyone. Peaceful night, my friends. This is Kay. The target has entered the neighborhood garage. Advise, over. This is Z. I suggest that time. This is M. Negative. We must remain awake to monitor the target. Playing artist is super fun. Now this is a masterpiece. Totally uninspired, Lampo. Real art is simple, like this study in one color. Those styles are so outdated. Look! The first feline style tower in history. Huh? Hmm. Uh, uh, this is real art. What they call art of food. This art really affects me. It makes me hungry. Huh? Ah! Uh -huh. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh la la! What do we have here? Monsieur la Palace! A sundial. This. Uh, this. It's all because of. It's a true masterpiece! Me! Because of me! I've been working on it for days! Oh la la! We have some feline pop art here! That's what I thought, too. Amazing! A pizza! Conceptual art. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. This is my work of art. So interesting. The other side of the Mona Lisa. More real than a real painting. <laughs> yep, I'm the best artist cat in town. Actually, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. What about me? I'm the <laughs> best artist cat. Buffy cats, I'd beat you with my eyes closed. In any art competition, I'd win for sure. Oh la la, how passionate. I'll proclaim the best artist cat by organizing an art competition. Hooray! The winning work of art will be featured in my gallery. Okay. We Buffy Cats will take up your challenge. Fine. As long as you don't mind when I win. We'll see about that. Amazing. I'll see you all later at my gallery. But, boys, you're not an artist. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a scam artist. <laughs> Tonight's rehearsal was possum. Sure was, my furry fellows. 
Our new song is really coming together. Yeah, m'lady. It'll be a hit with the neighborhood cats at our Halloween party tomorrow. Uh, to make it a real Halloween treat, let's add some super scary lyrics. You know what's scary? Missing nap time. <laughs> On second thought, running out of snacks is the scariest thing of all. Oh, I feel terrified just thinking about it. Let's sing about the furry wear cat. Meow! <laughs> Meow! Oh, uh, my lady. Is the were cat a wolf who turns into a cat or a cat who turns into a wolf? <laughs> How about King Cat? A giant cat, tall as the clock tower. King Cat uses skyscrapers as scratching posts. <laughs> <laughs> the only giant cat I know is Meatball. Hey! <laughs> I'm so hungry. Or let's sing about the monster who lives in the dark. The monster who lives in the dark really exists? That's what I heard. And that monster has been spotted right around here. <coughs> I'm the monster who lives in the dark. <coughs> that burp was the scariest part of the story. <laughs> So the monster who lives in the dark could be hiding anywhere? with a little job. Oh. Let's go tidy up the attic. Meow. Come on now. Tidy up the attic? What does that mean? Granny Pina was nice enough to make noodles for us, so let's help her first. <laughs> oh. What a mess! It'll take ages to put everything back in order. Well, we've got to start somewhere. <coughs> oh, jeepers, is that heavy. Oh, thank you, Lampo. But even with your support, Granny can't lift this yet. I guess I need to do some Granny Karate first. Yeah. Buffy Brainstorm, let's tidy up the attic for Granny. Okay, my lady, but I'm too hungry. I'll go to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, come on, Meatball. We've got to lend Granny a paw. <laughs> Of course! Granny Pina always treats us so well. We'd be happy to do something for her. Also, Igor wants to help Granny. With the strongest cat in town, we'll be done in no time. All right, Lampo. We get to work right now. All we need is a strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> and a gentle touch. Ouch! Uh, a sparrow? <laughs> A 
woodpecker? <laughs> no, Popetta. It's Edison's messenger bird. Edison? Huh, the weird cat? The inventor cat. He's always showing off his crazy inventions to the neighborhood cats. I mean, his brilliant inventions. <laughs> Edison invites all the neighborhood cats to see his new invention. <laughs> Why don't we get one of these for Granny Pina? He could come and call us when the chow is ready. Good idea! Lead the way! <laughs> Remember, don't touch anything. Hmm. Oh. Ooh, so sparkly. Can I hold her? Can I hold her? Uh-uh. You've got flying on the brain. You're going. You're. You're. A genius. Edison! You've demonstrated my new theory. The smaller the creatures, the greater the disasters they produce. New theory? Pilu has been proving it for years. Buffy Cats, I'm glad you're here. You're about to attend the demonstration of my latest invention. What is that? This marvel, my darling, will change feline history forever. Made with recycled materials, this beauty ensures we cats never have to envy birds again. Oh, so cool! Cats will be able to fly? Well, I think so. Anyone want to try it? <laughs> Cat friends, I think I found our volunteer. Traps! Stop the intruder! <laughs> Stay still so we can trap you! Whoa! That cat is amazing! <laughs> you should have known you'd never catch me, boss. I'm not a house cat like you. <laughs> I'm an adventure cat. Just keep on talking, Big Mouth. No! I can't let him get trapped. Look out! Behind you! <laughs> Lampo 2? I ain't letting them get away. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. I'll get you yet, Quatermain. You'll see. <sighs> Great moves back there. You really showed Boss with your cat-like reflexes. Yeah, but who are you, why are you here, and how can I be like you? The name's Quatermain. I'm on a mission, and to be like me, you have to be ready for anything and eat healthy. Uh. Eat healthy, eh? <laughs> so are you a chef? Uh. I'm much more than that. I'm an archaeologist looking for artifacts like this one. Ooh. The legendary collar of Nefertiti's cat. I've been looking for it for years, but it ended up in Boss's house. This collar is only the first artifact on my quest to find the greatest prize of all time, the Pharaoh Tutankhamun's treasure. This is just the first one? What are you after next? I still have to find two more artifacts. And when I have all three, I'll find Tutankhamun's treasure. 
We want to help, Quatermain! No matter how terrifying the danger, no matter how tough the research, the Buffy Cats were made for adventure! <laughs> the risk is all aligned in rows of six to the rear. The tails were all in time in rows of six to the rear. Six times seven is forty-two, plus two makes forty-four. Oh, forty-four cats in rows of six to the rear. Together they land up in rows of six to the rear. The risk is all aligned in rows of six to the rear. The tails were all in time in rows of six to the rear. To the rear. Awesome! Thank you, Buffy Cats. But it was all because of your beautiful song. <laughs> Meatball! <laughs> Meatball! <laughs> uh, what happened to the music? We stopped like a while ago. <sighs> Were you messing up that bad? No. We finished the song while you had your head in the clouds. Sorry. I got wrapped up listening to Robin's voice. It was so nice, I guess I got lost in the music. Your singing was really great today. Do you know why? I'm super happy because my baby is ready to hatch from its egg. Really? That's possum news! When it hatches, you'll be the first to know. Then I'll have a party, and you're all invited. Yeah. <gasps> we'll come, for sure. Ah, I'm free on that day. But I don't know the exact date. It doesn't matter. I'm always free when there's a party. What's on the menu? Meatball, he'll never change. <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. I'm going back to my nest. There's a baby waiting for me. will be declared the best cat. Let me see that, Meatball. Let me see it first. I'm gonna be best cat. Uh, uh. Each cat up to the challenge must recover extraordinary objects from the humans. Special objects. Things like the shoe of the hero. Ah. Or the magnificent scepter that rules water. Whoa, so cool! Ooh, when do we start the challenge? Right now! You both have a list of extraordinary human objects. Whoever brings them back from the humans will be crowned Best Cat. <laughs> this is a challenge fit for real cats. And I'm going to win! Have the crown ready for me, Meatball. <laughs> Boy, 
want it. <laughs> this is gonna be good. This is the botanical garden, my furry fellows. I heard it's full of plants from all over the world. It's a real jungle. Ruffy cats, let's go inside. Uh, you said jungle, m'lady? Uh, are you sure about this? Why don't we think about it over a snack? Uh, I, I suddenly feel like playing a, a, a game of furry ball. Pilu, but aren't you always up for anything? With these helmets, we'll be explorer cats. And we'll find the mysterious monster. Ah. <laughs> oh, boys, when does the fun start? A little patience, please. Just keep your eyes peeled for the perfect moment. Buffy cats, let's check for anything strange. Ah. Help! The monster! Don't panic, Meeple. It's just a coconut. Normal jungle stuff. Uh, a coconut shower! One coconut is normal. A shower of coconuts is pretty weird. Oh, what? Hey! Stop throwing coconuts! Hello, explorers! <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. Who are you? I am Tata, the talking parrot of the botanical garden. We're the Buffy cats, and you don't need to worry. We want to be friends, Tata. If you're afraid of the monster that lives here, we'll protect you. No, no, there's no monster in here. How can you be so sure? It could be hiding somewhere nearby. Impossible. There is no monster. All this exploration is making me hungry. <laughs> Talk about a low-cal banana. Whatever. I'll just eat another one. Uh, I'm pretty sure bananas don't taste like air. Uh, who are you? He looks like a wildcat. Did you see that, boss? Yeah. So this must be the monster everyone's talking about. We'll have lots of fun with him. <laughs> what is your name? I am Lampo, don't worry. <laughs> and I'm Pilu. You want some chips? <laughs> go, go, leave him alone. Why is he so scared? And why were you hiding him? Because everyone thinks there's a monster in here. The truth is that the two of us are the only ones living in the garden. <laughs> He's a wild cat. His name is Jungle. Say hi to the Buffy Cats, Jungle. He said hello, Buffy Cats. Wow, this cat art show is amazing. <laughs> so many wonderful works of feline art. Oh, this painting is awesome. Come on, Pilu. Let's follow Monsieur La Palette. <laughs> it's all good, Cop. You can go. Thank you. <laughs> Forgive him. Officer Cop just takes his job very seriously. But it's necessary to protect the works of feline art of my gallery. <laughs> Here we go. Eyes open. Thank you all for coming. I'm proud to introduce to you the Discotopolis, a statue made completely of gold. A unique piece. Oh. Oh. Unique, just like my bowl of noodles. It represents the first ball of wool cat pitcher in history. Oh, the Discarabolus is just the thing. It's completely made of gold. <gasps> Too close. You've earned a citation. But what did I do? Your stink is a misdemeanor. Possum! Yeah, my lady, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> citation! Do not touch the works of art. It's a holographic strawberry. You can admire it, but it's not a real strawberry. Blister, scab, 
Did you see that? Yes, boss. Clumsy Meatball is always hungry. And so what? So, thanks to him, we'll steal the Discatobolus. And I'll have a wonderful golden crown made out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you see that, Scab? The hamburger sculpture by Andy Cathall looks real. I heard that guests can contribute to the work of art by giving it a big bite. Me, me, I want to be first. <laughs> You're in trouble, Meatball. Oh, my meatballs. <laughs> You're under arrest for trying to steal this work of art. Don't worry, Cop. Meatball's just hungry. He is always hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is fine. Let's go back to admiring the... <coughs> that is Catopolis. It has disappeared. Now, Lampo, you'll learn some proper eating habits. This is what civilized cats should eat. <coughs> What's inside, Uncle? The only food fit for civilized cats. Caviar pate! Yuck! <laughs> oh, don't judge a book by its cover. And sit down properly, like a civilized cat. Develop your sense of smell, Lampo. Can you feel it? All the aromas of the sea are in here. <laughs> You're totally right, Uncle. Now we'll refine your palate. Come on, taste the pate. Lampo, halt! You must use your mouth. A civilized cat always has clean paws. <laughs> You ready to rehearse with us? Sorry, Lampo has not finished reviewing his good manners with me yet. Any ideas to save Lampo, Meatball? Better have a snack and think about it, m'lady. Match the steps. That's great. Rest out. <sighs> hey, Snobbeen. This is my Uncle Archibald. Uncle, this is Snobbeen. That is not how to greet a lady. Watch me. <laughs> my name is Archibald. Archibald McArchibald, and it's my pleasure to meet you, madam. How gallant, Mr. Archibald. You are a true gentle cat. See you tonight, Lampo. Now, Lampo, I want you to greet all your friends we meet today just like that. All right, Uncle. Uh oh. Is that a friend of yours? Uh, does it look like, um, I don't know. Hi, Lampo. Uh, uh. Clearly, he's your friend. Hi, Gas. Uh, Uncle, I just remembered I left something at the clubhouse. Uh, greet your friend as a civilized cat would uh. do. Hi. Hey there. I'm really happy to see you, my dear friend. Lampo, are you okay? It's just me, Gas, the stinky cat. Come on, Buffy cats. Have a seat. Lampo, this gift is too heavy. Oh. <gasps> Did Meatball just say gift? I want to see the gift! Yep, it's a gift. A gift for the ants. What? A gift for the ants? Yeah, haven't you heard? Today is National Ant Day. We brought sandwiches for them. Hey, m'lady! Did you fill them with broccoli? Um, no, I forgot. Could you go look for some broccoli? M'lady, I can't 
can't stand broccoli. I love broccoli. I'll go. You're not hungry, Meatball. You're thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I'm hungry. You're not hungry. You're thirsty. Drink. Okay, I'll just drink this super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. <laughs> We'll finish setting up for our picnic. Everybody's acting so weird today. Midway! <laughs> Hello, Terry. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, Pilu! Check out my tricks! You're really good on your scooter. I've always wanted to have one of my own. Sorry, I didn't find anything. Huh? Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Pilu. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> oh, best friends ever! That means you didn't forget. And this is for you. <gasps> It'll take a little work. All right, Buffy Cats, it's time to play Tail Off! Tail Off is a beautiful game. And filled with feline grace. Do you all remember the rules? You must make contact with the ball and bounce it only using your tail. <laughs> get two points. If you touch the ball with your paws, the other team gets a free throw, the Super Meow Shot. Using a special golden ball of wool, the team that committed the foul is on defense. A player is only allowed to stop the ball of wool with his mouth. If the golden ball of wool isn't stopped and lands in the basket, the other team gets five points. Got all that, Pilu? Yes, m'lady. Let's play. <laughs> Nice shot, Pilu! Meepo, what are you doing? They're on the other team! Really? I thought we were all on the same team. <laughs> Woohoo! It's all tied up! <laughs> And now, check this Buffy Pass! Meatball, run! It's Boss! Always up to no good! <gasps> yes, Pilu, and Blister and Scab are with him, too. Hello, my furry friends. You're no friends of ours. What do you want? Just watching the game. <laughs> A big fan of tail off. <laughs> All right, but don't play any of your usual pranks. Who, us? We'll be good. I promise. <laughs> 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 We've had enough of your pranks. It's you versus us huh? at the abandoned playing field. If we win, no more pranks for a month. All right, but if we win, 
We'll stink up your beds. See you tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. <laughs> May the best cats win. Good choice. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel.